what is up guys welcome back to our 10 gaming i have another tutorial for you guys on how to install open iv which is pretty much straightforward so if you're new to the channel you can go ahead and subscribe and also like this video at the end because it's gonna help you so we're gonna download open iv over here i will leave the link in the description Stand downloading. Let's just wait for it to scan. Then we're done. You can go ahead and open it from here. Uh, you're gonna use English unless you understand Russian. Then continue. Then you can go ahead and read your agreements. But you know, we never read it, we just continue. So you will install uh, on this computer and then create a desktop icon this is the default location which it will depend on your pc or unless if you want to make another location but this is the default so you just continue then you're gonna hit yes for the download it's gonna be 24.4 megabytes then yes And as we wait for you to finish downloading, it's done. Then installing. We are done. So, as we are done. Can just go ahead and close it then can go to your desktop it should be over here then you open it double click it to open then you can hit windows over here then you choose the location then you're just gonna do browse so it will depend on where uh, your game is installed as for me you can see it's on windows let me show you where it is on my it will be on windows program 86 grand theft auto 5 then just gonna do select folder so locations can be different uh, so yeah that's it then select folder then it's gonna display this screen information here that successfully pairs, successfully what 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 so if it doesn't show you this green option or it tells you something else it means that you have selected the wrong folder so make sure you do the right folder then we do continue then this one you can just do it's just reminding you that don't forget to back up it then continue then searching for encryption key there we go then you can just hit no things over here so first thing first that you need to do in order to be able to install mods properly you can go to your gta directory or where it is installed so i can just come over here then right click then more then open file location then can bring me there then i just open file location again then i'm here so you need to create a folder and you name it mods all in small caps mods then you need to copy this folder 7,24 gig it might take long so you can just paste it and be doing whatever you want to do as it copies so I'll just fast forward the video So it is done now. So coming back to your to your open folder, you'll see that you now have a mods folder over here. So in order to be able to use open folder, you need to hit edit mode over here. Then it's gonna give you this. Then just gonna click yes. So it's gonna give you this warning over here. 
that you need to install the plugin you need to read this warning carefully but to install all of this you need to come to all tools then come to asi manager then you need to hit install then also hit install then also hit install here on open camera so after doing this you will be able to do whatever you want so right here on the mods folder you can double click double click again you will see the x64 the update.rpf on the x64 folder then this data this dlc packs so over here is where you will be able to add your add-on vehicles or anything that's that you need to add on your mods so that's basically it then here on the update.rpf you come to call update.rpf common data then dlc list is where you will be able to add the names of the mod as you can see over here you will be able to edit your names or add the lines of the add-on pair add-on mods add-on pairs or whatever that would be an add-on or mod that you have installed so that's basically it guys until next time peace out and like this video share it and also subscribe you can leave any comment down below if you want any help with gta 5 peace out